I think I'm going to be showing you how to do a, brake, a front brake job on a 2010 Subaru Outback. This will be kind of similar to the other Subarus, so, I mean, it's the same setup, so it shouldn't be too complicated. So, if this video helps you out, comment below, give it a thumbs up, and then hit that subscribe button down below for more upcoming videos in the future. I do work on a lot of Subarus, so I will start recording those processes. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to jack up the car from the subframe at its hardest point. And then we'll go ahead and reinforce it with the jack stand. Um, I wouldn't suggest jacking it up here from the pinch weld, so the subframe will be at its best spot. And again, um, have the jack stand. I'm only doing one side at a time, but that's fine. Now to take off the wheel, you're going to need a 19 millimeter. Um, so if you're going to be doing, if you only have... A, like a manual tool like using a wrench and then the socket make sure that this is on the ground and while you're taking that off if you're using an impact gun you can lift it up in the air and do that too as well so what we're going to be doing is the rotors and the pads so we're going to have a 14s on the caliper so there's going to be a top bolt right here and then there's going to be a bottom bolt right there where my finger's at and then right behind there there's going to be a caliper bracket there's going to be two bolts that are 17 millimeters so one up on top and then one right down there if you can see it so right here we'll take off both of those Alright, so let's say if your rotor was stuck on there, which this wasn't, so I can't show a really good example of that. But, what you can do, if you're replacing it, you can bang on this with like a, at least like a two, two and a half pound hammer or above, whatever, two pounds. Um, and then bang on it from left and right. So just keep banging back and forth until it breaks free. And if not, you can actually hit it from the inside out. So now at this point, we're going to go ahead and reverse our order. So on the new heart, we're going to go ahead and take off the old hardware kit. So we'll go ahead and just pop these guys right off. And then we're going to go ahead and install the new hardware kit. Make sure that these are fully seated in. And then for the pins, make sure that these are freely floating. If they are not, just pop out the pins from the boot. So you would pull this, you would pull the boot back while pulling out the pin, and then you would re-grease it. Um, these pins are actually good. This wasn't done too long ago from another shop, but used pretty cheap parts and caused the rotors to warp. So then we're going to go ahead and put on our caliper bracket bolts. Then we're going to go ahead and grease our pads. Which is only going to do it on the contact points. Now I like to make sure that this guy's always on the bottom, just because that's the way it's going to be spinning. We're going to be going like counterclockwise. So this will be at its fastest wear down point. So for the one on the wear sensor, you're just going to push it down and then bring it in towards the pad. Just like that. And the same thing. <clears throat> 
Now, if you're having trouble putting these in, make sure that these aren't getting in the way. So now we're going to go ahead and put on our caliper, but we need to squeeze that before that. Um, you can use the part number 27111. That's a brake caliper tool that's from AutoZone. You can rent that for free. Um, but I'm just going to be using my pliers. Just because in the meantime, I don't want to go over and grab it. So when you're going to use the tool too, you want to make sure you have the pads here. Because if not, basically this will this what would be happening is that as you press this, one piston is going to open up more. And then um, as soon as you close down the other one, the other piston is going to pop up. But you can actually do this back and forth and it'll it'll actually close down eventually so you just keep going back and forth you're just gonna have to work a little bit more than what you should So now we're going to go ahead and tighten the lug nuts. Make sure you kind of do this in a star pattern. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now, after you're done doing the brake pads and you put on the tire, what you're going to go ahead and do is start the vehicle without moving it yet. So just start it, let it running, and then go ahead and pump up the brakes so that the brakes is nice and firm again. Now, if it's not, then obviously you got air in the system. That's probably because of something else. You either open up something or your caliper piston went out too far and then it absorbs some air in that process. Um, but again, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and then hit that subscribe, and subscribe button down below too as well for more upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.